Alright, so we got down off the pass and there's a little town called Leadville and we pulled in there to get fuel. Um, now everything's fueled up and we are, we've crossed onto the other side of the valley and are just heading up the mountains again. We're going to find a camp spot somewhere up here, uh, have a good night's rest and then carry on down the BDR and I think this one goes over another pass tomorrow so it's going to be spectacular and we're going to take you with us. behind this is uh, too small for the Jeeps um, there's there's no room to be able to level and stuff it's like a uphill driveway with one parking spot there I could see us both right there if there's a river we need but, water but what right, we're thinking I'm sure is, there's another one ahead, this but... is looking really chill as it is right now it might get a bit rockier up there but the Jeeps can go through pretty fast and we can go through pretty fast on the other side of the pass could be good stuff too if we want but on the way up we'll look for camp Ooh, that is Check out this site. The boys are scouting ahead to see if there's something else. But this has some potential for sure. Probably has a river in the back. Maybe. Yeah. Up over there. Okay, here's the plan. We like this spot. It's beautiful. But the boys went on ahead and found one that they like even better. And it's got a creek going through it so we can fill up our water with our lifesaver filters and uh, that's everything we need. every night we get the best meal ever from mom but every once in a while just good old hamburger helper is uh, a nice quick meal it's easy to make what's playing tonight on the theater Dunk and nice. wow. searchers the searchers no, classic man.
chilly morning up here. Perfect morning to have some coffee. I just want to let all the Canadian viewers of our channel, our friends and family know that uh, Adventure Roast is now available in Canada. All you got to do is go to effortcoffee.ca. For the US, it's effortcoffee.com. Canada, effortcoffee.ca. You'll love it. It's good coffee. This was a spectacular camp by the river that Pete and Dan found and we had a wonderful sleep listening to the sounds of nature behind us and now uh, we're packing up, gearing up and getting uh, further down the trail. I think the next uh, section here is another mountain pass and then we're going to come down into the town of uh, Buena Vista, Colorado. Today, we will be tackling Weston Pass. Every day, it feels like more and more fall color starts to show in the trees all around us, and the forests become more vibrant and beautiful. Weston Pass is a high mountain pass at an elevation of 11,938 feet above sea level. We are blown away by the breathtaking views and scenery all around us high up in the mountains.
As we come down Weston Pass, we notice a pretty drastic change in the terrain as we head towards Buena Vista. Got kicked up a rock from my back tire, went right on him, and he went straight in there. Thankfully, not fast. That's oh. a that's a cattle guard. <laughs> yeah, an old one. I'll we'll have to check your tire pressure every once in a while since we went right into barbed wire. Oh, well, we should just check everything for a bit. How hard did you hit it? I was able to get on both brakes fast enough, but I still like whacked it. Front wheel looks okay. I mean, it had barbed wire on it, so uh, in the spokes. It went in the brake and stuff, but oh, I think it's okay. Yeah, just drive slowly ahead and let's it see. Doesn't sound like any air is leaking. It doesn't feel like it. I'm probably just gonna take a break. Just oh. no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Within two minutes of each other. P B and J on the trail. All right, um, Dan just in the last 10 minutes had a couple of spills, went down on some real soft powdery uh, sand and then just overshot the uh, the tra trail a bit and got into some barbed wire. So he he's getting uh, trail weary and a little tired. And so we stopped, made a quick snack. We're just gonna carry on down the road. We've got uh, probably an hour, hour and a half to um, we get to the town of Buena Vista so hopefully um, they will be okay <laughs> and pay attention and be careful um, I don't think there's any rock rocky roads ahead but uh, you never know these trails are so diverse and they go they just wind all through the most beautiful country we've uh, we've seen in a long time so uh, loving the Colorado BDR that's for sure take a short jaunt down the highway before getting back off-road onto the last part of the trail. As we get near to the town of Buena Vista, where we will be staying for the night, the trails become more sandy and the terrain almost desert-like. having way too much fun we're in a sandy area and it's it's almost like a like a dirt bike trail so they are way up ahead having a blast but so are we in the jeeps these things are handling the, the trail really well and uh, we're having an amazing time and the scenery as always so far in uh, Colorado is spectacular
once we arrive at the Buena Vista KOA, we get settled into camp to do some laundry and other errands. Once we get caught up, we will continue further down the Colorado BDR Trail, where some intense and challenging mountain passes lie ahead.